We all know how fantastic working out is for your health. But what happens when your workouts aren't delivering the results you want? Or you're not getting the results you think you should be getting? What are some of the reasons why your workout isn't working? Hey, your time is valuable. And for each precious moment you put into your workout, you want to ensure you get the best possible return on your investment. So, are you getting the results you want? Note that when you lose weight, your body fights back. You may be able to lose quite a lot of weight at first without much effort. However, weight loss may slow down or stop altogether after a while. While any kind of physical activity is good, some workout plans are better than others. And you must know that there are other factors that come into play when trying to lose weight or tone up. So if your workout isn't working for you, one of the following reasons could be to blame. Find out how to turn that around and get the results you deserve. Here are eight reasons why your workout might not produce the results you desire. Watch out, there's a ninth reason that most people always miss out. If you're new on Healthy Habits channel, where we give you the latest and surest health facts, you can consider subscribing so that you will receive a notification whenever we put a new video online. 1. You're not working hard enough. If you have been exercising consistently for several weeks, months or years, it's definitely time to increase the intensity and start pushing yourself. As you work out more and more, your body adapts and becomes more efficient at doing regular activities. In order to improve on this, you have to regularly push yourself beyond your fitness comfort zone. Whether you increase the frequency, intensity or duration of your workout, you have to switch it up. 2. You haven't changed your diet. Exercise is awesome, but if you're not eating a nutritious diet with the appropriate number of calories for weight management, you could be shooting yourself in the foot. Proper nutrition fuels your workouts, but eat too much and you could gain weight or hurt your weight loss efforts. Here are some helpful resources to help improve on your diet. Use a calorie calculator. Use this tool to figure out how many calories to eat. Use calorie counters. This is a list of five free websites and apps that can help you keep track of your calorie and nutrient intake. You can always check them on the internet. 3. You're not lifting weights. One of the most important things you can do when losing weight is to do some form of resistance training such as lifting weights. Yes, cardio is important for calorie burning, but a proper exercise plan includes cardio, strength training, and flexibility. The solution to this is to lift weights or do body weight exercises such as push-ups at least twice a week to reap the amazing benefits of resistance training including decreased body fat, increased muscle mass, and stronger bone density. 4. You reward yourself with food. Do you allow yourself to have that extra piece of pancake, pizza, or other dessert when dining out because you went to the gym earlier? If so, you may be undoing all that good calorie burning with too many treats. Here's the solution for this. Focus on how good exercise makes you feel rather than what it allows you to eat after. And choose foods that fuel your workout rather than the other way around. 5. You're not sleeping well. Good sleep is one of the most important factors for your physical and mental health as well as your weight. Studies show that poor sleep is one of the single biggest risk factors for obesity. Adults and children with poor sleep have a 55% and 89% greater risk of becoming obese, respectively. What do you need to do? Start scheduling both your sleep and your workouts and treat both as unbreakable appointments. Exercising after an occasional sleepless night shouldn't pose too many problems. But if you're regularly swapping sleep for a sweat session, you could be doing more long-term harm than good. Sleep should come first, even before working out. 6. You keep on doing your favorite routines. 
If you do the same routine over and over, your muscles will simply adapt. You're likely to hit a plateau because each exercise stimulates only a limited number of muscle fibers. Here is what you need to do. For each muscle group, learn an additional two or three exercises. Try new angles and equipment. If you can get instruction from a trainer, there are plenty of books and videos organized by routine for each body part. 7. You sit all day. Sure, you work out regularly, but what you do the rest of the day matters too. If you put in a solid exercise session only to sit at a desk all day and lounge in a recliner watching TV all night, you may be undoing all of your hard work at the gym. Plus, there are a number of new studies that say too much sitting can be bad for our health and our waistlines, even if you exercise during the day. Solution Try to work more activity into all areas of your life by going for a walk after dinner, choosing to stand whenever possible, taking the stairs, parking your car further away and replacing your TV time for more active relaxation like playing with your dog. 8. You're drinking too much alcohol. Beer, wine and sugary alcoholic beverages are very high in calories. Also. Keep in mind that the alcohol itself has about 7 calories per gram, which is high. Here is the thing. If you are really holding on to your goal of losing weight, then you must have to cut down on alcohol. And why not avoid it completely if you can? And here is the surprise. 9. You could actually be losing weight without realizing it. Body weight tends to fluctuate by a few pounds. It depends on the food you're eating. And hormones can also have a major effect on how much water your body retains, especially in women. Also, it's possible to gain muscle at the same time as you lose fat. This is particularly common if you recently started exercising. This is a good thing. And what you really want to lose is body fat, not just weight. It is a good idea to use something other than the scale to gauge your progress. For example, measure your waist circumference and body fat percentage once per month. Also, how well your clothes fit and how you look in the mirror can be very telling. Unless your weight has been stuck at the same point for more than one to two weeks, you probably don't need to worry about anything. There you go. Now you know what could be going wrong if you're exercising but aren't seeing your expected result. The point is, if you're not seeing the results you want, you may be guilty of more than one of the mistakes above. Follow these tips to feel better. Have more energy and get the workout results you want and deserve. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel.